So I've gotten a lot of questions about the Tymo hair comb and how it works in comparison to a traditional flat iron. So today I'm just gonna do a quick test to see which one works better, a flat iron or the Tymo hair comb or any type of electric hair comb. I'm gonna flat iron one side of my hair with the Tymo hair comb and the other side I'm going to do with my chi flat iron so if you want to know which one does a better job at flat ironing your hair then keep on watching okay so to start i'm going to use the timo hair comb on the left side of my hair so while this is heating up i'm going to tell you a little bit about this comb i bought it on amazon for about 50 dollars and there are a lot of different brands that make these types of electric hair combs so just find one that has really good reviews and they should all pretty much work the same this one goes up to 410 degrees so I'm gonna use it on the highest heat setting you want to make sure that your hair is freshly washed without any product in it because that can make your um, flat iron kind of have that burning smell and it could damage your hair by having um, products that aren't meant for heat being used with heat tools start with freshly washed hair freshly blow dried and make sure that your hair is dry all the way through. Making sure that your hair is all the way dry is probably the best thing that you can do to make sure that your flat iron comes out really straight and smooth, whether you're using a flat iron or an electric comb. Okay, so I just unbraided both sides of my hair, but I'm only doing one side at a time, so let me braid this side back. So I'm going to start with this back section of hair. The Tymo hair comb is already hot. It took about three minutes for it to heat up, so I don't know how many people care about how fast their tools heat up. Okay, so I already used a heat protectant when I blow dried my hair, but I'm going to use a second layer of protection. This is the Chi Silk Infusion, and yes, I know this is made for the Chi products, so it will probably work better with the flat iron, but it's just the thermal protectant, so this will help using the electric comb as well, and I just take a little bit of it and put it in my hands and apply it to this whole section and what I like mm, it smells good um, what I really like about the Chi Silk Infusion is that it's like an oil based product so it's not going to re-wet your hair when you put this heat protectant in then I like to brush the hair out um, to get it really smooth. And then I will take my heating tool and get it straight. Okay, so the time is now 5.59, 6 o'clock. And I'm gonna see how long it takes me to flat iron with the time on. Okay, so I am almost finished with flat ironing this side. Okay, so I just finished this side and it is now 6.10, so that means it only took me 
10 minutes to straighten this whole side of my hair. It was really fast and really easy to flat iron with the Tymo hair comb. Another thing that I really like about this straightening tool is that it has this protective layering on it. So when I touch it, I'm not burning myself. When it touches my scalp, it doesn't burn me. So I really like that because you can get close to your roots and you can move really fast without having to worry about burning yourself. So I really like this tool a lot. Okay, so now I am going to straighten the other side of my hair with my Chi flat iron. This Chi flat iron goes up to 450 degrees, but I'm only going to use it on 410 so that it's the same heat setting as the Time All Hair Comb, just so that we have like a fair comparison of both heating tools. But I will say if you feel like your hair doesn't get very straight at 410 degrees, sometimes I want my hair really straight and I might need it to go to like 420 or 430 um, and I try my best to avoid using it at 450 because it's pretty strong and hot and we don't want to damage our hair we just want the nice straightened look from time to time so the chi lava heats up way faster than the Timo hair comb but I don't know how many people care about the little one or two minutes that you save in time for it to heat up I'm gonna put some more of this Chi silk infusions in my hair. Try to focus it on the ends. Now we'll see which one does a better job. Okay, so now it is 720 and I'm going to start straightening my hair with the flat iron and see how long it takes, see which one comes out with better results. Okay, so these are my final thoughts. As I'm filling my hair, the side that I use the Timo comb on is much flatter on the roots. And the side that I use the Chi iron on, I can still feel like a little bit of fluffiness at my roots. However, the side that I use the Chi flat iron, my ends feel so much more healthy. I don't know if you guys can see like a difference. In texture okay so here is the side with the chi iron and this is the side with the timo okay so I mean Okay, so don't judge my ends. So the biggest difference is gonna be in the ends. The side that I use the Timo hair comb, my ends look really dry and they didn't get that straight. And the side that I use my Chi flat iron, the ends got a little bit straighter. Now, if I really just wanted to get my hair super bone straight, I would probably use the Chi Iron at like 420, 430, and that would like really, really get the ends to look a little bit more smooth. Overall though, I feel like you could really use both products. So if you do just a quick um, pass through with the Time Out Hair Comb to get your roots really good and the Chi Flat Iron to make sure that your hair is straight and that it doesn't frizz up over time, I think that would be a really good combination. Is the Chi Flat Iron worth the extra $100 price difference? Um, I would say so because the Chi Flat Iron that I'm using 
is infused with lava minerals and it's just a really high quality flat iron so it's going to be less damaging to my hair over time so that's something to kind of really think about when you are choosing a hair tool to straighten your hair they both took about the same time to get my hair straight this side with the time hair comb was really fast it took like 10 minutes to finish and this side maybe took about 15 minutes so there wasn't a huge difference in the amount of time. And yeah, I think they both did a really good job at straightening my hair. Another good thing about having a flat iron is that you can kind of bump the ends or curl your hair if you wanted to. You can't really curl your hair with a Tymo hair comb, so that's something to kind of keep in mind as well. Overall though, I feel like for about 50 to 60 bucks, the Tymo hair comb is a really good deal and it does a really good job at getting your hair straight and it works really quick so overall I'm just really impressed with the Tymo hair comb still and that's after two years of having it and having a really high quality flat iron as well I still like to use this tool from time to time because it's just undeniable with how fast it works and how good it gets your roots straight so if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one peace out y'all